Hello everyone, Jaybo here with Westmec, and I am very, very proud to announce today the RX Gen 3 3 battery box mod. Thing is tiny. I've got a lot of features I want to show you, and I'm really excited to get into it. So let's dive down and take a look at opening the box. All right, guys, this is the Relo RX Gen 3 in the box. Ta -da! So this color is the new sort of uh, flash color for Westmec. Um, it is inspired after a bright lime green car that I quite like. And it just, the, the whole look is very sort of automotive inspired. You have these cut battery vents that you can see the actual battery here. And you have battery venting on the side as well as the bottom door. Uh, the bottom door is not where you would think it is. It isn't this place anymore. It is out the bottom. Now, for those of you that are concerned that it might actually come loose on you, there is a locking point here, 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 and here. So there's four points where this door locks down and it really doesn't move much at all. However, with a bit of pressure, you can get that open. Now you do have, again, three batteries like you do. Um, the back here is a little bit more, a little bit more sharp um, of, of an angle, which registers in the hand as really quite small. Um, the, the previous, the previous uh, versions you can see, for comparison, are here. So you can see the difference in shape there, um, as well as height, actually. So these all have a different height profile to them. And you can see that this is in fact the shortest one. Now, as far as the 510 is concerned, we have replaced it with something that is a little bit more um, robust, shall we say. Robust in the sense that you still have the proper 510 depth to take all the atomizers on the market. However, this one being uh, placed very similar to previous RX generations is underneath the, uh, the molding of the top piece, so therefore the 510 cannot come out. These are good things. You've got extra screws here, as well as screws here. If you should ever want to take this back door off to change colors, I didn't tell you that. You have your standard 510. Uh, up here you have your USB and your standard buttons, your fire button, and we've gone with a much larger screen. And you can see this on mine. You have a much, much larger screen than previous uh, generations. And for me, I just think it looks quite nice. It really completes the device because the screen is so big and the device is so small. Um, I really does think, I do think it looks uh, looks quite good and I, and I do think it adds quite a bit to the, to the overall feel of the device. Now, you also get an atomizer in the box. Now this atomizer I have spent quite a bit of time with, I am very very happy with as well. It is the gnome and that's like G-N-O-M-E, the little little garden guys. Um, it's called gnome because of its short stature, because of the ratios, um, this cool little tip up top. But there's some fun features on here that aren't on other tanks uh, in the industry and also from Westmax. So this particular tank is the first time that we are releasing the WM coils, which is these here. So these WM coils are quite small. Um, and there's a, there's a two and a three. The two is uh, quite good at lower wattage, um, even up to, let's say, 70, 80 watts, something like that. And then the three hole is, is the, a little bit more airflow, a little bit more boom for the buck, if you will. So between these two coils, um, I'm very, very happy. These aren't crazy cloud chasing coils, even though you can push those kinds of devices uh, on, on the mod. But with this tank being only four and a half mil, for its size, it's quite small. So we wanted to keep coils that are really good on flavor, um, give you a really satisfying vape, aren't necessarily in that cloud chasing realm, but again, this will totally uh, totally hang out with those, those types of tanks. So a little bit of features here. Um, drip tip is removable. It's very large, not quite a, uh, an 810, I believe, or a 910, I'm not, I forget the name of the actual, the large ones that are a half inch diameter. But this one is a normal 510, so it looks quite big and small, you know all that but the 510 will fit on other devices. And you can see a little Jabo logo there. On the Jabo logo, if you give it a bit of a push, that opens up your top filling for the tank, which is really convenient. And again, this drip tip does not inhibit the moving of the top cap. Now there is another drip tip in the kit, and this drip tip is included. Ooh, I'm just throwing stuff now. I nice save. Now, if this drip tip is installed. It does have a long enough stout where you cannot open this. So very similar to the Alabo from the previous uh, previous mods. So with the simple light removal, then this opens. So this is a this is a the, the safety feature or anti leakage feature. Plus it's a taller drip tip. So should you want a taller drip tip, if you feel like this one's a bit small for your taste, if you have this in the kit, it's an option. Highly recommend it if you're 
that person. However, for me, I just think this looks absolutely fantastic. Now, the feature that I was talking about, if you unscrew the tank, there is a two and a half mil capacity in this black piece. This particular version is the EU version. You can see a silicon seal, which plugs the tank and only allows it to take two milliliter, which is the EU standard for TPD. So if you're not in the EU, this won't be on your mod. If you are in the EU, you can take this out with a bit of, with a bit of fussing. The nice thing is that these coils fit into the base on a lower center of gravity than most. And I've done this by lowering the juice inlet hole as close to the bottom as I can, and also by placing the 510 contact here up inside the coil body so that this sits very, very, very low to the bottom of the, of the tank surface. What this does is allow us to have more juice in a smaller tank capacity. So when these two are put together, it really does look beautiful in my opinion. So some of the other features that we've included, we've still got the preheat feature for this mod. We've still got the logo on and off options. We've still got a few of those other firmware uh, upgrades from the previous versions, but this is an all new firmware bespoke for this RX generation. Um, and I also wanted to cover quickly while you're here, what comes in the kit. So we do have a spare piece of glass that you can see. You have the little drip tip that I showed you earlier for the uh, elongated vaping experience. I'll set that just there. You have an extra coil and the extra coil is a three. The one that comes in the mod is a two. So you get both. You can try both. And you also get your normal uh, charging cable and, and authenticity cards and all that sort of thing. So for the kit, you really do get a, uh, not a starter kit, but you do get a full package. And this is again, the first time that Wismic has ever really made a Reload product with an atomizer. So while this is a little different from maybe what you'd expect, which is the crazy high wattage, all that sort of thing, or the really strong uh, flavor, flavor based Amor coils, this is really something kind of that does both. Not really the crazy cloud chasing, but just something that does, you know, has the, has the power to push some serious atomizers, and then also comes with a, a nice little tank that just fits for everyday vaping, everyday, uh, everyday expectations, a good vaping experience. Just absolutely perfect. So again, that was the RX Gen 3. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye, guys.